Adobe Illustrator Tutorial 1, Step 2, Drawing Circles with the Ellipse Tool. Go to the toolbar on the left, find the Rectangle Tool, click and hold on it and select the Ellipse Tool. To draw an ellipse, click, hold and drag. Control Z to undo. To draw a circle, hold the Shift key down where you click, hold and drag. Make sure you change the fill colour to white. Use the selection tool to move the eye into position. Control C to copy, Control Shift A to deselect, Control V to paste, move the other eye into position. In the bottom of the toolbar on the left there's a colour selector. So I can uh, change the colour of my fill of any object that's selected. So if I wanted to change the colour of the eyeball, using the colour picker I could choose a colour. That's the colour it's going to go click OK and you can see the eyeball is selected, uh, changed colour. If I wanted to change the colour of the other eyeball, click on the eyeball. To match the colour, select the eyedropper tool. Click on the colour you've just filled. Control Shift A to deselect. I want both eyeballs to be white using the selection tool. Click on one eyeball, hold the shift key down, click on the other eyeball, change the colour fill to white either in the options at the top, the colour picker at the bottom, or you can use the colour palette over here to the side. You can also use the swatches here to choose colours. So you've got a number of variations, a number of different ways of choosing your colour. Just make sure both eyeballs are white. I'm going to change the fill colour to black now. So now I have both the fill and the stroke in black and they are also on the colour picker. Fill is black, stroke is black. I'm going to draw two smaller ovals inside the eyes for the eye details. So I go back to the ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a small oval here and another small oval here and move that one slightly up and that one slightly up. If you wanted them to both be exactly the same, you could easily Select one, Control C to copy, Control Shift A to deselect, Control V to paste, and then move the other into position. Control Select, Control Shift A to deselect. I'm going to change the fill back to white and the stroke to white as well, and put two more tiny highlights in there. To make sure I get these highlights in the right position, I'm going to use the zoom tool and zoom in on the eyeball area. Select the ellipse tool, hold the shift key down and put a highlight here and a highlight here. Control Alt 0, Control Shift A and you have your dog's head with the eyeballs.